So you can see where I have started. I've put the little, uh, the whipped spider web stitch in here for his head. And now I'm going to cover some of the body, maybe all of it, with a chain stitch. I've threaded a number 24 chenille needle and I'm using a size 8 variegated pearl cotton. I'm just going to start here. You can really start anywhere, but I start on the outside and work towards the center. So my first stitch is going to be a little chain like this. And then I make another one. I'm not going all the way through to the back of the fabric. I'm just kind of catching that top layer of wool there. Now you might wonder why I put a piece of wool down and then cover it. And it's because as I'm designing these, I don't always know what stitches I'm going to use. So I might have decided to just do a few stitches to highlight it, but I decided as I got going that I would do something that covered the entire body. Now you can practice a little bit and see what size stitch, what size chain you want to do. Mine are almost a quarter of an inch. So you can see some of the wool peeking out in the center there. The trick is don't pull your stitch too tight or you will lose that roundness in it. If you don't want any of your background to show through or peek out in the center, just make your stitches a little smaller. I'll make a few small ones here so you can see what I mean. Now here I've just made them a little bit smaller. Again, just catching my top layer of wool, not the wool underneath. You can see the difference as I make a smaller stitch. So you can choose what you like. And what I did is I went all the way around. And when I got right back to my starting point, then I just started going inside here. And did another round. So you can do as many rounds as you'd like. You can cover the whole thing or you can leave the center open to show some of the wool. And when you're finished, you just take your needle to the back and tie a knot. 